Mike and I want to share something with you all. Um, as we were singing that, I was just thinking of John 15 is where Jesus actually says, I tell you all this so that my joy will be in you and so that your joy will be complete. He goes, just follow me, <laughs> do what I'm asking you to do, and you're going to find your life. And uh, so Mike, go for it, man. Share with everybody what's going on. Well, uh, I am going to be entering the world of uh, competitive clogging. <laughs> and, uh, no, uh, <laughs> let's see it. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> you pay for that. You pay for it. Uh, anyway, no. Uh, Twenty years ago, we moved out here to start to, to start a church here in in uh, Salt Lake Valley. And over those twenty years, it has been an absolutely amazing journey. Of all the, like, we've had some tremendous highs, some pretty pretty low lows. But overall, God continues to work over and over and over. We see his grace. We see his faithfulness. And so, um, and I was just kind of reflecting on these last 20 years, and I realized K2 has been a place that has allowed me to grow and really taken risks on letting me grow as a leader, letting me uh, just take steps in teaching, and just over and over and over, K2 has been a place for me to develop. And it's been I, I have not missed that point. It's been a really wonderful experience. I still feel like I want to grow more. And uh, so I'm going to be transitioning off staff here and uh, to start another church. Yay. Yeah. So uh, the church is called... The Conversation, SLC. More details to come. It hasn't started yet. It's going to be a little bit of time. I'm going to be here through June. But again, as I was reflecting, I was just thinking, I'm looking at this band up here, and literally, we tried some super crazy harebrained stuff, and some of it just worked. Some of it. Some of it wasn't so amazing. But it, still, we tried. And I, I, over the years, I've been able to interact and have, you, have, have people in the arts who trusted me to lead, and, and literally hundreds of people. And I just can't thank K2 enough for the opportunity. Um, and I, I just, I'm super excited. I I'm, 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 have no idea what I'm doing, but we'll figure that out as we go. And uh, it's just, again, if you guys would pray as... as uh, if you're interested in, in knowing more, uh, you can just connect with me, and I can keep you in the loop on that. The goal, what, what I feel like is over the years, God has really laid a burden on my heart to try and create a place where, uh, in this new world of millennial thought and Gen Z thought, I want to try and place, uh, build a church through God's power that speaks a different language, and hopefully we can regain this generation that's leaving church like no other generation before us. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I covet your prayers. My wife, uh, Susie, and I, we covet your prayers. And uh, we're just looking forward to the next chapter. And thank you to anyone who I've had any interaction with or been, who've been part of the ministry and I've been able to share with you. Thank you for the trust and for just looking forward to the next steps. So thank you. Yeah. <laughs> And, I, and by the way, I, I've heard this from so many of you. Like, do you not get, love this guy's teaching? Have you not seen his teaching? I just am so grateful for you, dude, and, um, and the leadership for 20 years. And so, man, we're, we're pumped to see what God has in store, walking this journey with Mike. Yeah, this one, I want to go. I, I'm ready to do it. And, and he and Susie finally saying it's time. So I do want to encourage you, if you're interested at all, make sure that you contact Mike and find out what's going on. And we'll just keep you updated as we, as we go through into June. And so um, the kingdom of God is going to keep growing. It's just going to keep expanding. And we need new ways to do it. And we're excited to see what God's going to do. So let's pray. Lord, um, thank you for this man. Thank you for Susie, for their kids. Thanks for his faithfulness. Thanks for his faith for his willingness to follow you here in the first place and now to continue to follow you, to step out and to do things that you actually need to do. <laughs> That's how you like it. Lord, we pray blessing and favor and grace and provision of all sorts. And we just ask God that more and more people would come to know the beauty of even what we talked about tonight, of your amazing grace, your incredible love, your total forgiveness, and that people can be reconciled to God. So Lord, bless them, bless that effort, and bless Mike, watch over them, protect them, and we can't wait to see your glory. In Jesus' name, amen.